Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. The White Oak, PA, Pennsylvanian toy collector's back. And today we'll be reviewing some Bakugan figures. And who doesn't love Bakugan? I've got two figures I've never reviewed. Dragonoid Colossus. And this one, I think, is from Bakugan Battle Planet. If I'm correct, leave me a comment. If I'm not, and this is another figure entirely of Dragonoid, please tell me in the comments. I'd be grateful. First, we're going to look at Dragonoid, this Dragonoid. It's pretty cool. Articulation is really good on this figure. I love the articulation. In the head, too. It's nice. Wiggle Wiggly head. I don't know if this is missing any parts, but you can supposedly put Bakugan in the legs and the arms. Supposedly. I don't know. I haven't tested it. But just because I got this Bakugan right here, I'm going to see if it'll fit one of those in there. Just fold it into the ball mode. Work on... Transforming it into spear mode. Because I want to check this for the video sakes. And I can get this thing to transform. It's been a while since I've transformed this particular Bakugan. And Bakugan do transform from these ball things into spear things. Kind of were their thing. I mean, were, were the thing back in the day. Ah, I'm going to have to do that off camera. This one is really fussing with me big time. It's really fussing with me big time. So sorry about that in advantage. This thing is being fussy today. Real, real fussy. Given I've never, haven't done this one in so many years, I guess they can kind of fit in the shoulder. I think it's missing a piece, but you could totally put Bakugan in the arms or the legs, but I think these are too small to fit in there and do the job. But otherwise, that's pretty much the gimmick with that figure, pretty much. Now we're going to look at the... Uh, tail which is a nice looking dragon tail for this dragonoid big scale monstrous dragonoid figure it's pretty cool a lot of articulation on this figure and i do love some articulated action figures if you know what i mean this is going to go on the shelf indefinitely you're probably wondering where did I get this? Well, I got this from the Goodwill Outlet. I've wanted to review this thing for a very long time. So glad I have it to review on the channel. And that's why this thing is pretty cool. And there is a gimmick with this as well. The head can flip up that much. You can put a Bakugan spear in there if you want to. But on my copy, it's just not a solid connection at all. And it launches out way too easily. Now i got to find that Bakugan spear wound up. But you can supposedly put a Bakugan spear in the chest. Ah, crazy. Come on, I'm going to have to get that out of the dog cage. It went into my dog Teddy's cage. Give me a second. I'm trying to show this gimmick off, and this thing is really being fussy. With going into places it's not just supposed to. We can put a Bakugan spear in the chest, and then lock it into place. Like so. And you have a Bakugan riding in the chest, and that's the gimmick. 
a Bakugan can go in the Dragonoid's chest and be like, oh, I'm all powered up. I just wanted to say that because that's fun, okay? Sorry if I'm having a lot of issues with this. But yeah, that's the gimmick. Bakugan can go in the chest and drive the Dragonoid from Bakugan Battle Planet or Bakugan Armored Alliance. I don't know which particular Dragonoid this is. And I hit the tripod by accident. Now we're going to look at a Bakugan figure from the one of the Bakugan series. And this is one I do know. It's Dragonoid Colossus. And yeah, this is a good looking figure. And Dragonoid Colossus is a pretty big figure where Dragonoid can ride. I'm missing the tail piece on my copy, but otherwise... He's basically complete. He's got these fierce dragon wings, which is pretty cool. And the head gets some movement. Oh, I love that movement on the head. Legs are on a ratchet, which is nice. All in all, I love this figure. And this is one of my favorite big scale Bakugan figures next to this one now. I like them both. Would I recommend you pick these up if you're a Bakugan fan like I was when I was a kid? Yes. Well, I wasn't a kid. I was. I got into this series when I was at merely 15 or, or 17. I was a kid back in the mid-2000s in 1993 when this show came out. I thought it was awesome. Because these figures were awesome. And I highly recommend you pick these cool Bakugan figures up for your collection. They are pretty gnarly and pretty cool looking. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.